This is a short screen recording to illustrate how to use the Hypothesis web annotation tool we will be using to provide review comments and feedback on the Extend Africa website. The first thing you need to do is head over to the Extend Africa website. If you take a look at the right hand side of your screen here, you will see three buttons which are used to manage the hypothesis application. Click on the reverse uh, the, or the greater than the less than sign here to open up the sidebar. The first thing you'll need to do is to create an account on hypothesis by clicking on the sign up link and following the instructions on screen. As I already have an account on Hypothesis, I'm just going to log in with my credentials by clicking the login link. Here you will see the login pop-up window and let me just fill out my credentials. You will see that I'm now logged in as displayed by the head and shoulders icon there and if I click here you will see that I'm logged in as Wayne McIntosh. What you need to do next is head over to the course materials which you will find under the modules heading option. Let's go across to the teacher for learning module. If you click on this menu bar at the top of the screen, it will expand and list the sub pages of this module. Let's, by way of example, uh, say that I would like to review the organizing knowledge page. If I scroll down, you will see here that the course materials refer to a dollar bill. And uh, this is a currency used in North America and places like Australia and New Zealand. In our context, it would be better to replace this with an African uh, currency example. So uh, uh, to place the review comment, all you need to do is to highlight the text uh, holding down your left mouse button. And you will see an annotate button pop up here. Click on the annotate button and you will uh, see a text area where you can post your annotation comment. Uh, suggest replacing with an African currency example. So that's the comment I would like to leave. I recommend uh, that you always apply the module tag, in this case EXTAFR101, Extend Africa 101. So let's add that tag, Extend Africa 101 as the tag. Now what you need to do is you click on the Post to Public button. Make sure that you don't uh, post only to yourself. It's important that we post these publicly so uh, everyone can see your review comments. So I click on the Post to Public button and you will see now that my annotation uh, comment has been saved here. In another example, let's head over to, for example, the uh, overview page. Here you will see an example of a photograph, which I think would be better if it was placed replaced with a uh, culturally relevant photograph from Africa. Uh, in, in the case of photographs, we cannot highlight the individual photograph for annotation. And in this case, I suggest you just uh, annotate the page subtitle uh, here for posting your annotation. Uh, replace photograph with an African example. As we uh, did previously, 
I suggest adding the uh, module code as a tag before uh, posting uh, your annotation. We've now posted the annotation. So if we go back to the original page we annotated, uh, which was organizing knowledge, if you open up that page, you will now see uh, the annotation we placed previously, which is highlighted. If you click on the annotation, the comment that was posted and who posted the comment is displayed there. You can also start a conversation by clicking on the reply button to discuss any comments made by colleagues, which you can also post publicly. So that is basically how uh, the annotation plugin works. It's very easy to use and uh, we look forward to receiving your annotations. Thanks for the opportunity and uh, look forward to seeing your customizations for this course.